right, all right. So, uh, the ones here in Austin, right? Yep. All right, quick story about Celis. Just in a nutshell, I know there's a lot more details, so don't get mad. I'm not being super specific, but it's a general guideline that everybody needs to know. Is uh, first, they're working with uh, Hall Garden Beer. They owned it. They're doing their own thing. He knew the recipe. Eventually got bought out. Later on, what we know as Blue Moon was the first creation of separated from that for whatever reason. And now, Celis. And he was alive till 2011, Pierre Celis. So he brewed for a long time. Apparently the family still owns and operates it. Other side note, uh, what is that, Uncle Billy's? They were brewing for them. I do not know what's going on. So right now it's a 2020. Uh, they, they, they're right now they're bottling, but they're transferring the Uncle Billy's probably more out to like what was it? Not Driftwood, right? Uh, Dripping, Dripping Springs. Springs. Dripping Springs. So that's the last update. So if it's changed since then, I will try and put on another video. But just that's uh, quick stuff to know. Hope you like it. There's a Vitz beer. Uh, the main focus is having orange peel and coriander. Coriander is the English name for cilantro. Basically, it's focused towards the seeds. The seeds are very fruity. If you toast them up, it's like toasted uh, Fruit Loops. It's very intriguing uh, and, and very nice. So a little bit goes a long way. I worked with that at P.F. Chang, so you'll find that in some of their dishes here and there, and it comes back. So, wit beer, top fermenting, a lot of grain, not too much malt, because you want to enjoy it. This one's a little cloudy, but the body's a little lighter than most wit beers or wheat beers, but it's definitely going to have a lot more going on. So if you're not a fan of heavier beers, and yeah, this is going terrible, but then that's just something for you to know when you're drinking your beers, the lagers, the pills, Kolsch, things like that, they're going to be on the lighter end, so you won't feel as full or bubbly or gassy. Some people just don't like it at all. But if you're enjoying some, that's usually going to be your threshold. But for me, I always, always, always enjoy heavier beers. Uh, the multi-body, the heavier hops, it's... um just more appealing to me uh, on the bitterness and the, the hoppiness can get to me but it varies on the amounts and I can enjoy dark porters and uh, stouts so for me how I describe the bitterness is toasty caramelly chocolatey dark chocolate things like that um, like when you're cooking and then the hops is very plant focused so like grass grapefruit orange you know things like that um, just very plant you know the the cells in there do have a lot of green uh, in their cells and it's from the chlorophyll and things and that's adds bitterness so like broccoli uh, some lettuces things like that are dark green so people can't stand them because it's just so bitter but it's just naturally in there so once you cook it or use it and get it to come out of there you will catch a lot of that usually super tasters are very sensitive to it so be careful and that's cilantro cilantro has a different thing so the story is that there's a natural chemical within our bodies that allows you to get the fruit flavor the fruit taste the fruit ah, Full true. taste, <laughs> true, either one, of the cilantro, but the ones that don't have it, because you're from the European, so anybody that's Asian, Indian, uh, Hispanic, uh, some Spaniard, because what it is, they bred across the world, so it's within that, you know, uh, bloodline, they produce it, so they taste this beautiful, uh, almost like lemongrass type cilantro, it's green, but it has this little citrus thing to it, anyone that doesn't have it, it's like someone puts soap in your mouth. And so I will never force you. Don't try to convince anybody about that. They can never enjoy the flavor of cilantro unless something happens and they naturally produce the chemical out of nowhere. It's going to taste like soap to the day they die, no matter what. So here's to be able to enjoy cilantro. Mm. Yep. So it has that very, like I said, I don't know how to describe it. It's like that being in the streets of Germany type feel. It's this type of funkiness that's like from the natural yeast. And so more than likely the yeast and the grains they use can produce this. A lot of brewers do import from like Belgium and Germany and all that to get that traditional original flavor, which also contributes to the aroma. It's considered a good beer. This is dry, very clean. And even though it has a heavy body, it's very light. So it's lemony, has a little fruit in the back, but it's very mellow and it just sits there across your tongue. It's not gonna be super bitter. There's bitter from the hops, but it's very little. So some people that taste it more, that's just your, your your palate catches it. For the ones that don't really get that and they love all the other notes, that's because you've got like probably a normal or you're able to handle more bitter. So people that can handle more bitter love dark chocolate. They love super red wines, super bold wines, things like that. They love green vegetables. They don't even have to smother them. And they just, they get all these other flavors before the bitter even becomes a factor. So on this one, I think it's very enjoyable. Almost crushable in a way. But as you can see, definitely plenty of a, 
proteins from the grains. Mm. This arm's pretty light. I'm gonna say five, but it's hazy and it makes it very enjoyable. So I feel like How Garden Blue Moon, Cellus White is another one that you can go to if you wanna mix it up. So thanks for watching my video. Hopefully this is informative and not too much, but that's just a basic guideline about a bunch of stuff at once. So I enjoy this beer. It's very clean, crisp, refreshing as far as a wit beer. So if I wanna get heavier than a lager and I wanna get into ales, this is one in there. And if I want something more, I know like Blue Moon and the other ones, they have straight up just heavy bodies, tons of wheat and I drink them all. So hopefully this helps you decide if it's for you and you can go to the brewery and they have a big old tap room that you can enjoy a few of these beers and try some out and they have plenty. They've been brewing for a long time. So hopefully you check that out and you enjoy this. Uh, thank you for watching the video and you have a good night. Oh wait, no, there we go.